In this first tutorial, we will guide you through finalising your payroll in order to complete the tax year. Before any end of year reports can be completed and submitted to HMRC, it will be necessary to ensure that all payroll periods are finalised and fully up to date, for example up to and including week 52, month 12, etc. for all relevant employees. In the event that an employee or director has been omitted from the payroll and they are to be included in the P35 submission to HMRC, they can be added and processed at this stage. To do so, first select employees and set up the employee or director in the normal manner. The omission or entry of a start date in the employee's record will determine the payroll period they will be added to. This will be indicated by the appearance of an employee icon in the relevant starting period on the payroll schedule. After setting up the employee details, click the Payroll tab and select the employee or director's starting period on the payroll schedule. Process their pay for this period, then continue to process each period thereafter until their pay details are up to date. If you process weekly payroll, whether you will have a 53-week payroll year will be dependent on your payroll date schedule, which was set before your first payroll period was processed. For example, if your starting week for the tax year was set as week ending the 10th of April, 52 pay periods will fall in the tax year and a week 53 will not be needed. If your starting week, however, was set as week ending the 6th of April, there will be 53 pay periods in the tax year and a week 53 will be added to your payroll schedule. Similarly, for fortnightly and four weekly payroll, an additional pay period will be added dependent on the payroll date schedule set at the start.